Hey everyone, welcome to our CA Daily Touchpoints. It is so great to be with you. Let me first just say how much we miss being with you guys physically on the weekends, and we're so looking forward to the day where we get to be together again in person, but in the meantime, it is such a gift to be able to connect with you and be with you digitally in this way. Well, today in our CA Daily Bible reading plan, we are in the book of Daniel chapter 9. And chapter 9 begins with Daniel reading from the book of Jeremiah. So Daniel is reading the word of God. And then we see that Daniel starts to pray and he prays a prayer of repentance. He confesses his sin as well as the sins of the people of God. In verses 4 and 5, we read part of Daniel's prayer where he says, O oh Lord, the great and awesome God who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love him and keep his commandments. We have sinned and done wrong and acted wickedly and rebelled, turning aside from your commandments and rules. And so Daniel is confessing his sin. He's also confessing the sins of the people of God. Daniel doesn't argue with God. He doesn't try and make excuses for their sin the way we are sometimes so prone to do, where we can say, well, yeah, yeah, I sinned, but if only you knew why, or it's not as bad as you think, or but this or that. But Daniel doesn't make excuses. He just states his sin. He confesses it to God, and he asks God for mercy. Then we read that while Daniel is praying, the angel Gabriel comes to him and the angel Gabriel says to him, you are greatly loved. He says, you are greatly loved. What a beautiful and amazing response that God sends to Daniel after Daniel has prayed and repented of these sins. And I want to encourage us that when we take the posture of Daniel, when we come before God and confess our sins and come to him with true repentance, God also responds to us and says, you are greatly loved. As we confess our sins, God is faithful to forgive us our sins and to give us mercy and forgiveness and grace and his great love for us. Um, one of the things I have been doing in my own quiet times with the Lord recently is I have been praying through Psalm 139 verses 23 and 24. And I've been using these verses as a way to ask God to search my heart and to convict me of any sin, any area in me that he wants to root out of me or that doesn't honor him or if it's an area of sin within me. And so I want to invite us right now as we close to pray these verses from Psalm 139 and to let this be our prayer back to the Lord. And I want to encourage you, if God brings to mind any sin or convicts you of any sin, would you remember the truth that God loves you and that his grace and mercy and forgiveness is available if you will turn to him and seek him and confess your sin to him. So let's pray. God, we pray now these words from Psalm 139, verses 23 and 24. And I'll pause after each phrase so that you can repeat it aloud and make it your own prayer to the Lord. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my thoughts. See if there is any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. In Jesus' name, amen. And so if God showed up for you, if he convicted you of some sin or area in your life, or if he convicts you in the days or the weeks ahead, would you take those things back to the Lord, confess them, repent of them, and trust that God will respond to you with his great grace and mercy and his great love for you. Thanks, you guys.